Good evening, brothers and sisters. I am Minister John Pickens with Revelational Ministries, and I would like to thank each of you, amen, for listening and joining us on this Tuesday evening for prayer. Thank you all very much. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that everything that had breath, praise ye the Lord, for his praise shall continually, continually be in our mouths today. It is always a blessing, brothers and sisters. It is always a blessing to be in and a part of the house of the Lord, to be counted amongst the living and not amongst the dead. There is always something for us to be thankful for, always something, brothers and sisters, for us to give God the full praise, honor, and glory that he and only he deserves. And when we learn to praise him, brothers and sisters, when we learn to praise him when we are up and when we are down, he will come and make his home with us so that we can experience both his fullness and his wholeness. Bless his holy name today. Uh, before I begin tonight, I have to always first give honor to God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for saving me from my sins and commissioning me, amen, to preach his word, which is the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ to his people all around the world, amen. Now, the scriptures for tonight will be coming from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 4 through 5, which says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. And also from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12, which says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you tonight, Lord. We come before you, Heavenly Father, first in fullness and wholeness, and in humbleness. Before we ask for anything, Heavenly Father, we want to ask for forgiveness. We want to ask for the forgiveness, Lord, of our sins. We want to ask, Heavenly Father, for the forgiveness of any and all of our iniquity, any wrongdoing that we have been doing whatsoever. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you, Heavenly Father, and we want to uh, just lay all of our supplications down tonight. We want to lift up all of our requests, all of our concerns, Heavenly Father, and to tell you thank you for life. Thank you for strength. Thank you for health of this morning, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, for all that you have done for us, all that you continue to do. Uh, for we are the leaves and you are the vine. And without you, Heavenly Father, we can do nothing. We want to thank you, Lord, for bringing us through another tumultuous day. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for protecting us on the roads, the highways, and the byways. Thank you, Lord God, for sending your warring angels to continuously stand in the gap for each and every single one of us. For none of us would be here, Heavenly Father, without you. None of us, Lord, would have made it, Lord, without you. So, Lord, the least we can do is to tell you thank you. I tell you thank you, Heavenly Father, for you have provided all of our needs, Heavenly Father. For your word says that man shall not live by bread alone. By every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. So we thank you this morning for your word. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for access to your word. For you have given us many different types of ways to access it through reading, listening, watching, even acting out. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for your word today. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for every word that proceeded from your mouth. For those words, Heavenly Father, strengthen us. They feed us. They empower us. And only your kingdom, only your kingdom, Heavenly Father, shall remain forevermore. Bless your holy name today. Heavenly Father, we want to give you, Lord, all the thanks, Lord, for covering all of our church leaders and all of our church members. For many, Lord, are around the world today. Many, Lord, Heavenly Father, are sacrificing, Lord, suffering, Lord, on behalf of your name, doing the things that you call them to do. Many of them are in dangerous countries, dangerous nations, Heavenly Father, enduring ridicule, enduring persecution, Lord, and during sabotage, Lord. Many have been kidnapped, Lord, and killed and maimed for your namesake. So, Heavenly Father, we pray a special prayer this evening over each and every single one of them, wherever they are covered, wherever the many have been held kidnapped. Lord God, we pray that you send an angel in that midnight hour, 
that you send an angel in the midnight hour, Lord, to free them from their oppressions, to free them, Lord, from their captors. For these are your children, Heavenly Father, our brothers and sisters, Lord, we pray for those who continuously labor in the ministry, doing your will, Heavenly Father. So, Lord God, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord, this evening, Heavenly Father, because you are the Lord, our God, and beside you, Heavenly Father, there is no one. There is no one else, Heavenly Father, for us to look up to. No one else, Heavenly Father, to accept for your word says that there's only one way to the Father, and that is through the Son. And you can only go, amen, to the Father unless he draws you. So we thank you for drawing all of us this evening, Heavenly Father. We thank you for drawing us out over the course of our lives in various events. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing us center hold, bringing us center fold, Heavenly Father, to see the things that we need to see, to correct the things that we need to correct. And the thing above all, Heavenly Father, you are making clear to us is that you are the Lord our God. Beside you, Heavenly Father, there is no other. For you are the first and the last. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Heavenly Father, you are the endless one. You are the omniscient and the omnipotent. You are Jehovah Nisi, amen, our banner. You are Jehovah Rapha, amen, the Lord who heals. You are Jehovah Jireh, amen, the Lord uh, that provides for, for We thank you, Heavenly Father. Uh, we thank you for being our provider, Lord, our protector, our deliverer, Heavenly Father. Uh, and only your kingdom, Lord, only your kingdom shall remain forevermore. For every other kingdom that mankind has built has crumbled. Every empire that mankind has built has crumbled. But only your kingdom, Lord Jesus, only your kingdom, Lord, shall remain forevermore. Bless your holy name today. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for being your people. Uh, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for being your call, chosen people, Lord, to lift up all of our prayers and requests. For you have heard all of our cries. You have heard all of our supplications. And we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for delivering us from all of our enemies, all of our enemies, past, present, and future. You say you're in your word that 10 of us, Lord, a man will chase 100, Heavenly Father, and 100 can chase 10,000. So we thank you today, Lord, for empowering us with your Holy Spirit to send the enemy on the run, fleeing from us seven different ways, Heavenly Father. We pray for the faith and the obedience to continue to do your will, to continue, Heavenly Father, to put you first, to put your agenda first. And we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for this revelation. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for this truth. For there is no other truth except you, Heavenly Father. There is no other truth out there, Lord, except your way and your will. So we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, for continuously leading us. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for continuing to be uh, omnipresent. So we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Bless your holy name today. Thank you, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, this afternoon, this evening, Lord, for leading us out of the bondage of slavery, Lord God. We want to thank you for freeing us from our addictions, freeing us from our past lives, freeing us from our past endeavors. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for when we were when in Egypt, when we were bound by the enemy, Lord, we did as the enemy did, Lord. We worshiped as the enemy worshiped. But now, Heavenly Father, you have delivered us. You have delivered us, Lord, to lead us into a promised land and that requires, Heavenly Father, that we have no other God before you, that we do not erect golden calves, Lord, that we do not put up altars to Baal, that we do not erect the high places. In fact, Lord, we pray today in the name of Jesus Christ, just as you have instructed Gideon to tear down uh, the altar of Baal and the wooden images beside it, Lord. We pray that we tear down all these wooden images in our lives, Lord, anything in our households, anything in our bodies, anything in our minds that exalted itself against the obedience of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to pray that those things are torn down. We want to pray today, Lord, that these things are cast down and burned down. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we offer the sacrifice, Lord, the sacrifice of praise, the sacrifice, Lord, as you have instructed them to sacrifice the bull of seven years old, Lord. We may not have an actual bull, but whatever it is that we have, Lord, we pray that we offer it up, uh, that we offer it up to you on top of the 
uh, ashes, Lord God, of the wooden images that have been torn down. Lord, we pray that we offer, Heavenly Father, all, amen, we pray that we offer all of our praise, Lord. We, we pray that we offer our time today, Lord Jesus, time that we have, Lord, let us dedicate it to you. Let us dedicate it, Lord, let us build altars to you, Heavenly Father, for you, uh, the Lord, our God, who heals us. It is you, Heavenly Father, who takes care of us. It is you, Lord God, that protects us. Not the wooden images, not the wooden idols, not the false idols, none of those things can do anything for us, Heavenly Father. Uh, none of these things that we chase after, Heavenly Father, can do it. Lord God, we pray against, Lord, the spirit where we constantly arguing and warring over dead houses, dead insurance policies, dead vehicles, dead relationships, Heavenly Father. We pray against these things in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray today, Lord, that we live in your revelation and your truth, not the things that what we want to do not living the life that we want to live but we pray lord this evening this this evening heavenly father that we live in your truth that we live in reality lord that this world amen is spending this world is passing away uh, and we just pray lord for this realization in the name of jesus christ glory to your holy name heavenly father we want to pray for all of our international family we pray heavenly father for all of our international families in the name of jesus christ today we want to pray for them. We want to pray, Lord God, for the people of Israel tonight. We pray, Lord, as they lay their heads down, Lord, that they are enduring shell fire and mortar fire, weapons and artillery, Lord, going over their heads, entire building compounds being shaken, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that your warning, uh, your warnings or your territorial or kingdoms, Lord, that you have protecting them, Lord, that they uh, continue to be protected, Lord God. We pray for all the victims, Lord, in this terrorist attack. All the 2,000 victims, Lord God, that have lost their lives. We pray for all the family members that have been displaced, Lord God. For Heavenly Father, that could have happened anywhere. That could happen anywhere around the world. And we would just pray today, Lord, pray tonight over all the people of Israel in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray, Heavenly Father, uh, that the enemy, wherever the enemy is hiding, amen, your word says that what we do in the dark shall come into the light. Lord God, we pray a defeat to the spirit of Cain and Abel in the communities. We pray, Heavenly Father, a healing today, Lord, of the rivalries of the Esau and Jacob's, Lord God. We pray against the rivalries, any of whatsoever, against Ishmael and Isaac, Lord, any of their descendants, Lord God, that continue to war. Amen. What's happening here on the physical side is representative of what's happening on the spiritual side. For you have told us, Lord, to take control of the land, to take control, Lord, to make sure the enemy is wiped out. And you show us, Lord, if we leave a remnant of the enemy behind, uh, what the enemy is able to do inside our bodies, uh, what the enemy is able to do, Lord, inside our souls. Well, we thank you today in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for this uh, solving of this problem, Lord God. We thank you for showing us what the solution is. Heavenly Father, we thank you for showing us what the solution is in the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to thank you for the full deliverance. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for uh, casting uh, all of our sins, Lord, in the sea of forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord God, we pray of all of our international families. We pray over the 2,000 people that have lost their lives in the earthquake in Afghanistan, uh, to 2,000 Muslims, Lord God. On one hand, Lord, uh, the Jewish people are being attacked. On the other hand, we have the Muslim people are being attacked. On the other hand, we have Americans and Asians and Europeans and Africans and uh, South Americans and Australians. We have all sorts of people around the world on all the seven continents that are being harmed and killed and pillaged. Folklore that are just trying to make it day by day. Folks that are not caught up in these rivalries, Lord, in the atmospheric realm. Uh, but we want to pray over all of our brothers and sisters around the world in the name of Jesus Christ, including the ones that uh, do not like us, Heavenly Father. We want to pray over them. We want to pray over their families in the name of Jesus Christ. We wish them nothing but the best, Heavenly Father. We pray for full deliverance and full pardons in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray over all the migrant families, the families that do not have homes to stay, but they travel from place to place. Try to find shelter, Lord. Try to find food. They're very nomadic in that they don't have a permanent place to stay. But we want to pray over all of them in the name of Jesus Christ. For we do not know exactly what happened in their lives. We do not know, Lord. But what we do know is that you are the Lord, our God. And that there is one faith, one Lord, and one baptism. And we want to thank you today for that revelation. We want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, uh, for freeing us all from our prejudices, freeing us all, Heavenly Father, from things that we don't cannot do, Lord. We want to thank you today 
in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, blessed Lord, today for deliverance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for healing the violence, Lord, in our land. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for covering us in this uh, violent uh, period in time, Lord God. We want to pray against every mass shooting in the name of Jesus Christ. As we pray for these things, Lord, we pray for mental health facilities to be rebuilt in Jesus' name. Glory to your name today. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, blessed Lord, as we continue to move forward, Lord, against the spirit of racism, the spirit of genderism in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, for the enemy is having a field day, planting the men against the women, the women against the men, the children against everybody. We, but we thank you today, Lord, for freeing us from this uh, slavery, amen, for freeing us from this bondage, this mindset, Lord, that we have to fight over these things, uh, this mindset, Lord, this demonic stronghold that says that we have to get into new relationships and recreate an atmosphere that is unhealthy and not conducive for the Holy Spirit. For it is you, Heavenly Father, that empowers us. It is not our genders. It is not our race. And if we are being empowered by these things, Heavenly Father, let us not be led astray. Uh, let us not be led astray, Lord, by the enemy, uh, but let us be transformed by the renewing of our mind, Lord. Your word says that you, amen, pray that uh, that mind of Christ be it in us. Lord, let us develop new minds today. Let us develop new thinking. Let us stop organizing ourselves, Lord, simply according to skin color. Lord, let us arrange ourselves, Lord, according to those who worship the Most High, for those who worship Elohim, Lord, for those who worship El Shaddai, Lord, not those who worship skin color, not those who worship culture, not those who worship genders, Lord. None of those things we have chosen when we came into this world. Uh, let us not be worshiping those who worship attraction, uh, worshiping those who have talents and abilities and those who have high statuses. Lord God, we tear all of those altars down in the name of Jesus Christ. We cast down those wooden images in our life. We cast down and we tear them down in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not allow, Heavenly Father, the enemy to have any sort of demonic control over us by having us being empowered by foolishness, having us being empowered by false dreams and false realities. Lord, let us dwell on this side. Lord, let us Open our eyes, Heavenly Father. Let us open our minds to the truth of this world. And that the truth of this world is that it is passing. For any of us to put up stock in anything down here, Lord, is a falsehood. For any of us, Lord, Heavenly Father, to put us stock into anything that is down here when your word clearly tells us that the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. So it makes no difference that you have other people around the world fighting over foolishness, fighting over statues, fighting, Heavenly Father, over land and territory when your word has already clearly told us uh, that there is a new covenant now and that we were not able to keep the old covenant uh, but because we broke the old covenant heavenly father you uh, are sent your only begotten son you heavenly father sent your only begotten son so that who may believe a man may live uh, those who believe in the name of the son God, amen. They shall be healed. They shall be rescued in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank you this morning, Lord God, for your truth. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for your revelation, the revelation of Jesus Christ. So we know, Lord, that the Lord of God cannot be shown. Uh, you can only be revealed and you reveal yourself, Lord, to those whom you will. Glory to your holy name today. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, as we continue to war against the elements, Lord God, for your word says that you desire for us to be safe in the land, for us to be safe, that you will remove the wild animals, that you will remove the wild animals, Heavenly Father. And we thank you today uh, for removing inclement weather conditions. We pray for those who have been saved, amen, in spite of and despite of, Lord, hurricanes and tornadoes, snowstorms and floods and blizzards avalanches, Lord God, uh, earthquakes, Heavenly Father, all sorts of elemental conditions, Lord. We thank you for the breaking in the temperature, Lord God. We thank you for the cooling off of the atmosphere that's happening around us. But we want to thank you, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Lord Jesus. We want to praise your holy name today. Uh, we want to bless your holy name today, Lord God. So we thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up. Uh, we thank you for starting us on our way. We want to thank you, Lord, for delivering us through this Tuesday, Lord, bringing us to this Tuesday night to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. And before we go any further, Heavenly Father, we want to lift up our sick to you, Lord God. We want to lift up all of our sick all of our shut-in, Lord, those that are in the rehabilitation centers, those that are in hospices, Lord, we pray a covering over them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to pray over every ER room, Lord, every rehabilitation center, every hospice unit, every assistant living facility, every nursing home, Lord, we want to call your angels to the forefront to protect the people, Lord, that are being held 
uh, helpless in these places, Lord, people that are depending on nurses, Lord, to care for them. They have no family members whatsoever. Many family members have abandoned their family. Many of them were homeless on the street. But Lord God, you have commissioned the nurses, Lord, to help look after the people. We pray that no malfeasance take place in these facilities, Lord, and any foul thing that is happening against those patients, any foul thing that is happening against these juveniles, Lord, anyone in these correctional facilities, Lord, that are completely dependent, Lord, upon the powers of the state, the correctional officers, Lord, we want to pray protection. Everyone in these buildings, Lord God, we want to pray protection over the staff, but we want to pray protection, Lord, over the detainees, Lord. We want to pray protection over them in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, as we call out a man cancer this evening, Lord. We want to call it out in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that those cells stop continuously, rapidly reduce them, producing themselves, and we pray that they fall on the line under the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray over those with heart disease this afternoon, this evening, Lord God. We pray against heart palpitations. We pray, Heavenly Father, against irregular heartbeat, against any heart murmur whatsoever, Lord Jesus. We want to pray, Lord, over Alzheimer's, Lord, those who do not know or in their right mind, Lord, we want to pray for healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord, uh, for healing those with schizophrenia in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord God, for healing those with brain tumors. Lord God, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing those with aneurysms. Lord God, we want to thank you for healing bone disease this evening, Lord. We want to thank you for healing strokes and seizures, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Lord God, for healing those with depression and anxiety, emotional instability, Lord, paranoia, paranoia, Heavenly Father, those with fear, those with fears and phobias, Lord God. We pray for healing tonight, Lord God. We pray for those with anger issues, Lord, anger and temper issues, Lord God. Uh, your word says that we need to control, a man needs to control his tongue, amen, better uh, to be a fortified city, Lord God, than a man who cannot control his tongue, a man who can control his tongue is a fortified city in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Lord, uh, for the healing, Lord God, of our digestive systems, the healing of hemorrhoids. We lift up hemorrhoids, anyone that is suffering from these things, anyone that is suffering from the pulmonary issues, breathing issues, Issues, Lord God, issues of the lungs, uh, Heavenly Father. We want to pray for those who are dealing with immune system issues, Lord, the digestive system issues, the endocrine system, Lord God, those with issues of the nervous system, the central nervous system, the automatic nervous system. Lord God, we pray for those with skin diseases this afternoon, this evening. We pray for those who have vitamin and nutrient deficiencies, vitamin and nutrient deficiencies. And Heavenly Father, we pray for those uh, children that are being born into this world with birth defects. All all around the world, Lord, the children that are being born, many of them now are not even being carried to terms. Uh, many of them are underdeveloped, but we want to pray a healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to pray a healing and a full restoration for every child, amen, that is being born into this world. We pray for your covering over every child that is being brought to this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to your name today. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. We want to thank you as we lift up our brothers and sisters. We lift up our brothers and sisters that are in distress. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, as they continue, Heavenly Father, to lift up the name of the Most High, to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up, amen, Apostle Don Trim Jones. We want to lift up Apostle Don Trim Jones, Pastor Mac Jones, their children and grandchildren. Heavenly Father, we thank you for commissioning her to lead Bethel, Lord God. We want to thank you for commissioning her. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, for delivering her in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to your name today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for healing the entire church of the Bethel Worship Center family. We thank you for healing, Lord, our missionary Lily Stembridge. Lord God, we thank you for reversing, Lord. Uh, we want to thank you for reversing any and all ailment and illnesses in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up the entire Ross family tonight. We lift them up in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We want to thank you for healing them. We want to thank you for delivering them. We want to thank you for keeping them in your precious name. Heavenly Father, we lift up Casey Roberts, Lord God. We thank you for the successful procedure, the successful operations, Lord Jesus. We thank you as we lift up Minister Latrina Cope, Talia, Mary, and family as they continue to deal with a devastating loss. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up Lord God, Shamia Powell, Catherine Hunter, Desiree Davis, Pearl and Minor, Lord God, we lift up the Spence and Singleton family. We want to lift up the Spence and Singleton family tonight, Lord. We want to thank you for healing, amen, for Minister Kendra. We want to thank you, Lord, for restoration and healing in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We pray that you pour back into them all that they have lost, all that they have given. 
whom they have given in their life, Lord God. We thank you for healing them, Lord. We want to thank you for restoring them. We want to thank you for pouring back into them 10,000 fold in the name of Jesus Christ, all that they have given, Lord, and sacrificed, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for deliverance in your precious mighty name. Heavenly Father, we lift up the family of Elder Marty Swain. We lift up the family of Elder Marty Swain. We lift up the Way family, Lord Jesus. We lift up Sister Shia Wallace, Scott Bender, and Jeanette Smith. We lift up Loyalty Johnson, Carolyn Carter, uh, Miss Debbie Rock, Lord God. We lift up Minister Eliza Collins and family, Lord. We pray that they, amen, be poured back into 10,000 for all of the names, Lord, that we are calling tonight. All of the names, Heavenly Father, that we are calling tonight. In your holy, precious name, Lord, we pray tonight, Lord, for a rescue. We pray, Lord, tonight for it immediately, uh, suddenly, Lord, uh, an open, under an open heaven of windows, Heavenly Father, that you are pouring out a blessing, Lord. Room enough that we will not have room enough to contain it. We want to thank you for turning around these situations. We thank you for keeping that household covered from the crown of her heads, Lord, to the soles of all of their feet, Lord. We thank you for keeping them in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless your holy name today. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up Elder Anne and her family, Lord God. We want to lift up her friend Ava. We want to lift up, Lord, Elder Wanda and family. We want to lift up, Lord, Elder Gwen Weston, Lord. That's Elder Gwen Weston. Heavenly Father, we pray over Pastor Bryant and family. We pray over safety and security in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray over Minister Hernandez, Minister Hector and Amanda Hernandez. Heavenly Father, we want to pray over Elder Ralph Laborde, Elder Gina Laborde, and their family. Lord God, we pray over Elder Lorraine Trim, Marlene Trim, Camille Trim. Heavenly Father, we pray over Minister Landy Phillips. We pray tonight over Minister Landy Phillips, Lord God. We pray for Minister Wilcox and their family, Lord. We pray for Minister Tia and Renee Pope. Heavenly Father, we pray over Brother Bernard Childs and family, Lord. Mia and Cornelius Goldwine. We pray over little Kevin. We continue to pray over him. We pray over little KJ, Heavenly Father, we pray over the Richardson's family tonight, Lord God. We pray over the Pickens family tonight. We pray over the Olivers, Lord God. We pray over the Clarks. Clarks. We pray over the Greens in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We want to pray over all of the families, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you as we pray over the Cronshaws tonight, Lord God. We pray over the Cronshaw household, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you for deliverance, Lord God. We want to thank you for deliverance, the safety and security on these roads. Heavenly Father, we pray over Noah Lucas, Lord, tonight. We pray over Minister Betty Ward and her family, Lord, over Deacon Ward and their family, Lord. We pray for healing in their bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for Sister Greta Sims, Lord. We lift up Miss Melissa Velo and the entire family, Lord God, in Michigan, Lord God. We want to pray over Becky McCall and her family. We pray over Lisa, Miss Debbie Rock's cousin from California. We pray over Miss Malay's Grandma Jimmy Marie Lewis, amen, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray over Larry Gaskin, Jr., Lord, Mr. Jim's cousin, Heavenly Father. We pray for salvation. We pray for salvation for Robert, Lord. We pray that he get off that fence and believe in the name of the Son of God, because those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for Brother Willie King, amen, and during surgeries, we pray over Larry Fogg. Heavenly Father, we pray over the entire Eastside Elementary, Lord God, over Little Truett. We pray every Everybody, Lord, is healed. We pray everybody is safe. We pray that the mental processes continue, Lord, to pick up the pieces of the things and the people that they have lost. Uh, for we pray over them in the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to thank you, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for being the Lord our God, because beside you, Heavenly Father, there is no other. So we want to lift up everyone standing in the need of prayer this evening in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that they are healed. Uh, that they are healed by your stripes, Heavenly Father, that they are healed and decree and declare by faith right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is suffering, Heavenly Father, anyone that is enduring pain, anyone that has been enduring a new prognosis, we pray, Lord, that that prognosis is reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. For your word tells us that no weapon, no weapon formed against us at all shall prosper. Uh, no financial weapon formed against us. Uh, no spiritual weapon formed against us. No physical weapon formed against us, Heavenly Father. No gossiping, backbiting spirits, no racist spirits, Lord, no racist weapon was Whatsoever. No genderism weapon formed against us, Lord God. We want to pray tonight uh, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, Lord, 
but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imaginations. Heavenly Father, cast down our imaginations. Anything, Lord, that supplants itself against the obedience uh, to God and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to call out these things. We want to pull these things down off of our minds, off of our bodies. Lord God, let us be focused. Let us be structured, Lord, in your word. Let us keep and stay in your word. Let us stay in your promises, Lord God, because none of us would be here without you. Uh, it is only by your word, Lord, by only by your wonder working power, Lord, that we are here. Uh, so we pray tonight uh, that your Holy Spirit descend upon us, Lord, descend upon each of our households, Lord God. When we go to our jobs in the morning, Lord God, we want to pray that the Holy Spirit fall upon us, Lord. For in your word, your word says that the Holy Spirit came upon Samson, Lord, came upon King David, came upon Gideon. The Holy Spirit came upon Mary. The Holy Spirit came upon the church. Uh, it came upon the disciples and the apostles and the, the Pentecost, Lord God, we pray that the Holy Spirit come upon us, Lord. Come upon us, Lord, to empower us to do the work that you called us to do, to, to equip us, Heavenly Father, to fight. Amen. To fight the way you called us to fight, Lord. To live the way you called us to live. Because we cannot do this, Lord, by our own power. We cannot do this, Lord, by our own spirit. It's only by your Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father. It's only by your word uh, that we are kept alive and safe and strengthened in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for those who are still in bereavement, those who are still suffering, those who are still mourning at the loss of their loved ones, Lord God. We pray that they are healed. We pray for full restoration to them and their families in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for our brothers and sisters that have special needs. Lord God, those without limbs, those without legs, those with, with nothing to have, Lord, we want to pray uh, by faith, Lord. We want to pray that a deliverer, Lord God, a positive caregiver, Lord God, a positive resourceful system, Lord, appears itself, Lord, to be able to help those with special needs, to be able to help those who are homeless, to be able to help those, Heavenly Father, who have no place to go, no food to eat, no clean clothing to put on their bodies, no way to take care of their children, Lord. God, we pray for suddenly and then immediately to take place in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for the hungry all over the world. We pray for those, Heavenly Father, who have no food to eat, and we're not talking about just physical food for the body. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those that have spiritual food to eat. You told your disciples that you have food, Heavenly Father, that they know not of. And we pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, that we have that food to do the will of the one who sent us. Uh, we pray tonight, Lord, for the children, Lord, to do the will of the one who sent them, uh, for them to remember the creator in the days of thy youth. Heavenly Father, so we thank you today for healing. We thank you for deliverance, Lord God. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, for healing all the sick all around the world. We thank you for keeping them, for we are all in the palm of your hands. Bless your holy name today. So, Lord God, we pray over all of our finances, Lord God. We want to pray covering over every single child here and around the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray uh, against human trafficking, Lord. Those who are still caught up in these schemes of human trafficking, Lord, we come against this full thing in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that every racketeer and every operation, every personnel that is involved is brought to the courts, is brought to the justice, Heavenly Father. We know those that may escape the justice of mankind. We know no one, Lord. We know no one shall escape, Heavenly Father. No one shall escape your heavenly throne, your judgment seat in the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says that what we do in the dark shall come into the light, Heavenly Father. So we thank you tonight. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We want to pray, Lord, against un all godly relationships, against all ungodly relationships and ungodly soul ties, Lord God. We pray that the portals to those things are closed off. We pray, Lord, that whatever it is is used to initiate these relationships. We pray that it is cut off uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that we, uh, in place, Lord, form godly soul ties, godly relationships. Lord God, we pray for a godly uh, addiction. Lord, we pray for an addiction to your word today. We pray for an addiction to prayer. We pray for an addiction to praise. We pray for an addiction to your word, Lord, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. We pray for an addiction to fasting, Lord God. Let us fast and restrain ourselves from the things of this world, Lord, so that we can inch closer and closer, Lord, so that we can stay under the shadow of your almighty wings. Glory to your name today but there are so many distractions out here for everyone lord too many distractions for the small children lord god but we pray we pray that your hand stand be upon them lord that your hand stand being upon me heavenly father to lead and guide us into the direction that you would have us go 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray, Lord, as you continue to protect us from the spiritual realm, Lord, things that are happening in the spirit. We want to thank you for protecting against all the bad and the falsehoods. Lord God, we thank you for the full armament of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, Lord, the girdle of truth, the gospel of peace, uh, the gospel of peace, Lord God, uh, the sword of the spirit and the shield of faith in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your armament as we continue to war, not in flesh and blood, but in the spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed is he who walks, amen, by faith and not by sight. Bless your holy name today. We thank you tonight, Lord God. We thank you tonight as we pray for your wisdom, as we pray for your knowledge, Lord, as we pray for your understanding, Lord. Let us have your perspective. We pray for your perspective of life, not our own, Heavenly Father. Let us not be led by what we believe to do is right. Let us not be led by living our own truth, but let us be led, Heavenly Father, by Almighty God. Let us be led, Heavenly Heavenly Father, by the ones, Heavenly Father, that you send uh, on your behalf, let us follow and hearken to your messengers. Let us hearken, Lord, to your voice uh, and continue to tune our hearing, Lord, so that we can have our spiritual ears here to hear the call of the Lord, the call of the Most High. For the worldwide events are happening, Lord God, this is your word predicts. And we pray tonight for safety and security in the name of Jesus Christ for all of the Israelites overseas. We want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for keeping them covered. Thank you for keeping all of the people who lost their lives in the Afghanistan. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, healing and restoration. And we pray the blessings be overflow in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you very much. Amen. For joining us this evening for intercessory prayer. Again, if you would like to have a concern or someone pray for, please send your request to Revelational Warfare Ministries at Yahoo.com. That's Revelational Warfare Ministries at Yahoo.com. We're on Facebook, amen, at 8 p.m. We will submit all of our supplications and prayer requests to the Most High. You do not have to submit your personal name or personal information. We just ask that you submit uh, a concept for us to pray for something that you need deliverance for in the name of Jesus Christ. For God, your word tells us, Heavenly Father, that we need to pray ye one for another. Amen. So let us continue to do that, brothers and sisters. Let us not believe the lies of the enemy and telling us that we don't need to pray for each other. And no, let us do as instructed as the word of God tells us to do, not as mankind and mankind's interpretation of God's word. Uh, well, let's join us again this Thursday night by uh, brothers and sisters for Bible studies at 8 p.m. and join us again on facebook 8 30 a.m sunday morning for the word of god amen we thank you brothers and sisters we thank you very much uh we pray that you uh visit our youtube channel visit our youtube channel at revelational warfare ministries that's revelational warfare ministries for additional word of god and biblical content um brothers and sisters i am minister john pickens and i would like to thank you amen for joining me with revelational ministries tonight amen for the word of god and prayer Amen. Have a very blessed night and blessed rest of week. Thank you.